Hello friends, welcome. In this video, we would learn how to generate a co-integrated time series. So let's start. First, I am just using set.seed command just to ensure that you can replicate the results what I have done here. Okay, friends. So first, I generate a white noise X using R norm command. I am generating here a white noise okay friends by using r norm command which gives us normal random variables with mean 0 and standard deviation 1 clear then i am just using cumulative sum command come sum command of this just to make a cumulative series of this and i name it as random walk x okay so this is our first uh, random series or we can say random walk series random walk x this is a known stationary time series. Uh, now we generate another uh, white noise using the same command R norm Y. So now we generate another time series. I say random walk Y by just adding both of these time series random walk X and Y white noise. So now as you know friends when we add a known stationary series with a stationary time series y we get another known stationary time series i1 plus i0 equals a i1 time series clear friends so now here we have two known stationary time series random walk x random walk y and we want to test whether they are co-integrated or not for that purpose we need to first uh, like uh, uh, go behind intuition we are having two series random walk x random walk y what are they having in common they are having the series random walk x which is in both of them we can see the right hand side of the series it's here also and in random walk y it goes there so we can see here both of the series random walk x and random walk, random walk y they are having something common that is random walk X. This is the common trend they are sharing. So if we identify a spread like this random walk X minus random walk Y. Suppose we generate a series like spread the difference between both of them like this. Just create the different series like this. So this spread should be stationary. This is the linear combination of having weight 1 minus 1. If we reduce random walk X from random walk y we get a different series spread if it is stationary we can say the spread is constant over time and both the series are sharing a common trend and they are co-integrated uh, we can also see the co-integration uh, from the graph by plotting it using the command plot and lines uh, just see it clearly here we can see the prices are moving uh, together if we plot the spread we see it's stationary over the time. So now we can say both the series are known as stationary and co-integrated. Uh, just to see it in a better manner, just to feel it, what I do here, um, what we can do here, um, we can do it for uh, only 20 number of observations. The same thing I'm doing for 20 number of observations only. If I say, uh, for 20 only uh, 20 then another series 20 plot it if we see here friends these are two series in the graph if we have a look we can see over the long run both the series are in synchrony but in the short run if we see here like that the prices are going down uh, in the blue line but in red line is going up so in the short run there should be non synchrony but over the time they are same identical this is called co integration and this is the way we generate uh, co integrated time series okay friends uh, we can also check the uh, stationary or stationarity of the different series by using adf for pp test uh, like i have done also here like suppose i say uh, the series we have and we want to test so we can use urc command here uh, the adf 
and then we do ADF test we see we clearly reject the null hypothesis here at this confidence level so we can say the spread is stationary and both the series are co-integrated okay friends I think this video was helpful just to understand how to simulate uh, uh, a co-integrated series thanks friends keep